how I get the silver smoky tone to my hair using this product right here, which is the Rue, there's a hair on it per usual, the Rue Fancyful Rinse in the shade True Steel. This is a liquid rinse. This is a product I've used on my own hair for about six years, and the reason why I have used it for that long is because not only does it give you a true silver tone if you are putting it over blonde hair, but you can also customize pastel tones with it. Currently, my hair under all of this is a very, very faded pastel blue tone. I have some brassy tones coming through, blonde tones, and some green randomly. So when I use this product, which I'm gonna show you today how I use it, I can basically get rid of any of those brassy tones or patchiness and give it a really even smoky tone without having to go back through and dye it. So it looks like I just freshly dyed my hair when in reality I haven't dyed it in weeks. There's no processing time, there's no developer, there's no inconsistency in the formulations. You can get this product at Sally's Beauty Supply and I believe I have a coupon code for you guys that I will link down in the description box and I'll also post it somewhere near or around here so you guys can get a discount. So before I babble on any long I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how I use the product. There are so many different ways you can go about applying this product, but I find it easiest to start at the roots and basically just pour the product directly on the root area. You can see it can get a little bit messy, so either wear a shirt you really don't care about, or you can do it in the shower or whatever your heart desires. Also, we wanna make sure the hair is damp when we're applying this product. If it's too wet, being that it's a liquid product, it will just make your hair take forever to dry. So I'm just applying this directly onto my root area. I do not put this on the scalp. I'm putting it on the root area of my hair and basically just rubbing it in to make sure it's nice and blended in and there's no splotches or stripes or anything like that. Then I'm going to the other side and you'll see I have a really brassy part in the back that I'm gonna cover up. I just apply a little bit of extra product in that area to make sure I cover and tone out that area. And then again, I go ahead and rub it in to make sure it's nice and blended. I like to go through and part off the hair just because I feel like it makes it easier for me later when I do the ends of my hair. But you guys can, of course, just like dump it all over your head if you want or whatever is easiest for you. After I get the roots done, the rest of it is easy peasy. I just pour the product into the palms of my hands and then I just work it through my hair until I reach the desired shade. You can build up this product as much as you want to get a darker, smokier tone, or you can put a little bit on to get more of a silvery wash to your hair. So it's totally up to you. After we get the color applied, we're gonna go through with either a comb or a brush that is safe on wet hair and we're going to make sure we brush through this really well. I just wanna make sure that everything is nice and evenly toned, and if there's any kind of lines or clumps or anything like that, it will get evened out at this point. Then you are safe to go ahead and style your hair per usual. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up or say, hey girl, hey, down in the comment section because you know I love talking to you. Also, if you guys have any questions over anything I mentioned in this video, you can leave those down in the comment section as well. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.